strangely the client has two entry doors right next to each other so one of them are going to become a inlet for light in the subway anyways we'll keep cruising to the, the site see it when we get there man how good is this weather not gonna put a damper on the progress this morning that's for sure As we walk through this door, you can see that door in front of us is the uh, door we're going to be pulling out and installing a new window in. So just taking the door off the hinges, removed the door, and now we're cutting the uh, architraves um, so we don't tear off any of the paint when we remove them. And then we're just gonna cut the door frame in the middle and then pull that one out. I think it's key to always cut your joins when you're um, removing architraves or skirtings. That way we don't tear off any paint when we rip them off and then uh, we don't have extra work to do after we've finished. Just measuring the height and the width of this window here just to ensure that it's going to fit in the gap that I've had from this existing door. Keep a clean and tidy site. Weather's looking pretty awesome, eh? I'm just working in that corner there. I'm not really out of the rain. I wasn't expecting the wall frame to be the exact same size as the brickwork opening. So I've just had to improvise here and I've removed all of the reveals off the window. And that way I can install the window to the frame and then install the win uh, window reveals 
later on. So I've just cut a strip of packing off the existing door jam. I'm gonna use this at the top here and it's gonna allow me after I install the window to fix a trim at the top there to cover up the gap on the top of the window. right hand side of this window I've had to take the little fin off the aluminium frame uh, this is because the brickwork is going to be impeding on that because the fin sticks out further than the actual window frame so if I pull that off when we insert the window into the opening I can insert one side in and then that fins not going to be in the other way uh, in the way on the other side when I go past the bricks Just in case you're wondering, yes, I'm saturated. So obviously I've got the window in place, not too bad. Um, so now here I'm just cutting all the window reveals to size to suit the frame dimensions from the window frame all the way out to the outside of the jib rock. I'm gonna cut them to length, nail them together and install it as one unit on the inside. So I'm just using Sikaflex on the bottom reveal. It's gonna hold it in place for pretty much its lifetime. And then on the sides and at the top, we're gonna to use finishing nails to fix it in place. So I'm just using the levels to straighten both sides of the reveals and at the top. Once they're straightened, we're gonna install the uh, architraves and then use some gaps to go around and seal up all those gaps. Like I said before, a clean site is a good site.
As always, here's some finished photos. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate your love and support. Please give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.